So the workshop information company, Emanuel Online, got in touch with us recently and asked us if we'd like to try out their service. We recently did a video on a professional workshop information system, and we did have quite a few people get in touch from various parts of the world or people who were just after a specific diagram for a specific car. And in many cases, these professional services uh, can't support with that. However, Emanuel Online have the answer for this and I really wasn't expecting what they uh, sent me. Here's Emanuel Online here, emanuelonline.com. Um, on here, you can just then search for the vehicle that you want. So we're going for a 320D 2011 E91. So it would be this one here. And it takes you to the page where you can then basically just either add it to a cart, maybe you're buying a, a few of them, or buy it now. They obviously sent me the, the link straight away, and as soon as I opened it up, I was shocked to see that it logged in to what seems to be the BMW dealer diagnostic software. Okay, so if you were a BMW technician, this is where you would go to find diagrams and things like that. It does also have the diagnostic software as part of this. However, we're not, we're not getting access to that. This is just for the workshop information. And then all you need to do is put your chassis number in. It will only work with the chassis number that you supply to Emanuel online so that you can only then access the information for your vehicle. So here we are, we have our BMW 320D. So if you want to get to the wiring diagrams, which is what we're mainly going to be looking for for diagnostics, we need to go to vehicle management and then uh, troubleshooting. In troubleshooting then, we've got a number of options here. We're going to go for function structure. And then these are the different functional areas of the vehicle. Let's say uh, look for exhaust gas recirculation. So we're going to go for DDE 7. You can see then it opens up all of these different areas of the DDE, Digital Diesel Electronics or Engine Control Module for most of us. If we're going to air mass then, we can then find on here exhaust gas recirculation control. So if we go to uh, EGR controller, it should be on here somewhere. We have got SSP there. So SSP is the abbreviation for wiring diagrams. FUB is like a functional description. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. Let's just take a look at the uh, wiring diagram. What I must know is that if your screen resolution isn't set right on your uh, desktop settings, it might cut part of this off. So if you can't see the zoom in buttons and things like that, just have a play around with your screen resolution and it should uh, sort that out. So if we zoom in, here we can see that we've got the full factory diagram for the EGR system. So if you zoom in and then you just click the mouse and drag it around to see what you've got. Okay, so on these diagrams they have the, the wire color and the wire size. So the size being 0.75, the color being BLBR, so it's a blue brown. It's quite usefully put the two colours next to it as well. And what you also get is this code. So you can see down here, look, M-A-G-R. So if you click this overview button, if you want to take the guesswork out of diagnostics, then come and check out the Mechanic Mindset Diagnostic Coach Program. We have a whole online training platform which is dedicated to making things easy to understand and can also be accessed on our brand new mobile phone app, benefit from the instant access of over 15 training courses and counting on topics like electrical diagnostics, sensors, engine management and emission systems, CAN bus and networks, and oscilloscope. We add new lessons every month. Plus, you can download certificates for completing certain courses. We have a monthly live training session, which we record if you can't make it and a private community which is willing to help you with your diagnostic problems. So sign up today for your first month free using the code YouTube and I hope to see you at the next live training session. If you click this overview button, 
it opens up this side view and you can actually see or find all of the different things on the diagram. Now if you go to this one here, lines, um, we were MAGR, you can see here look, MAGR ground for sensor actuator. So you can actually see what all of these different wires are. Now that's really, really useful for diagnostics. In fact, actually you can see that all of the M's are a ground and actually all of the U's are, are a power supply. Okay, so um, that's another little tip for the BMW diagrams. What else is really good? If you wanted to know where this connector was or a bit of information about the connector, should I say, if you click on the connector itself, it shows you where it is. Okay, uh, that's the installation location. If you click on the connector view, you then get a look at the layout of the connector itself. So you can see here, look, pin one there, pin five, that end. Um, you can also do the same for the engine control unit connectors. So this is giving us the connector view here, look. Um, if we click on the engine control unit itself up here, A2249, it's gonna show us where that is and which connectors are on there, look. So you can see there, two, four. It's not actually showing that connector on there, but it's given us a bit of an overview of uh, some of those connectors on there. Uh, we've then got the pin assignment then for each one of those connectors. Look, so you can see then which pin on there is for which part of the engine management system. So that's really useful stuff. Um, you hit the full screen at the bottom there, you can make it a, a bit bigger as well. So as for the diagrams, that's, that's really, really useful. Again, it's just a case of finding what you need uh, to look for. There is a search feature, which I'll show you in a minute. So if we have a look at the functional description, we can see there that it actually gives us a bit of information on how this system works and possibly some of the things that we might expect while the system's in operation. So that is really useful again, especially for some of these systems, which you know sometimes we have to um, assume how they work. This is straight from the manufacturer themselves. So the search feature then, if you go over here, look, we've got this search. We can search for maybe a crank speed sensor, engine speed sensor. So if we hit speed on there, it's gonna do a search. It takes a little while to complete the search, but there's also a really nice filter that I'm gonna show you once you've got all the results, because this is gonna bring back quite a lot of information. So now you can see, look, that we've got quite a lot of different types of documents on here. Okay, we can see straight at the bottom, we've got all of the, the wiring diagrams there, the SSPs. The repair instructions is uh, replacement information. So your, your workshop manual, I'm gonna show you where you can find those in a minute. But if you hit this filters here, look, what we can do is just search for wiring diagrams. So wiring diagrams there, if we uncheck all of the other boxes, what we can actually do is just search for the wiring diagram. So in some cases, you're gonna get a lot of information on there, maybe a lot of wiring diagrams. So you can actually just filter it down just to show the wiring diagrams and there we are. So if we hit this one here, engine speed acquisition, this is your crankshaft sensor, which you can see here, three wire crankshaft sensor and a camshaft sensor with a 12 volt fuse. So that again, that's quite unusual. Again, um, if you weren't aware of that, that could end up leading you down a, an incorrect diagnosis. So getting the right wiring diagrams for the car is really, really important. Really great to have the same as what the manufacturers get here. And again, if you wanted to know what was the power ground and the signal, hit overview there, go to lines. And if you wanted crankshaft sensor signal, click on that and you can see that it's highlighted it purple there. Look. So that's a, that's a nice feature. Camshaft sensor signal, if we click on it there, you can see it's highlighted this one here, purple. So you can find the wire that you want from that list rather than going through and, and, and checking them all. So really, really useful stuff. So if we want to now find the repair instructions for the EGR valve, let's say we've just um, done the diagnosis and now we're gonna replace it and you wanted to make sure you're doing it 
the correct way. We go to vehicle management again and repair and maintenance. Uh, what we're going to do is look through here then for the EGR valve. Again, you could use the search feature. And we can see here, look, we've got exhaust gas recirculation. So REP is your repair manual. So if you go on that, it tells you what you've got to do first. It also then tells you the process of removing that valve. So which screws to release. Uh, there's some coolant lines to take off and an electrical connection. And it's also telling us that we must replace the O-ring before we uh, install it again. So a little bit of information there. It also gives us the follow-up things that we need to do. And that would be to add and bleed the coolant system and assemble all the engine. It says check function of DDE. So of course you're gonna make sure that the fault has been repaired and that it's all working correctly. So AZD, um, as far as I remember, these are tightening torques, and they are. So that gives you the correct tightening torques on there. So also really good for doing major engine repairs where you're going to want uh, like cylinder head tightening and, and things like that. So we've just gone on to camshaft here. As you all know, or some of you might know, that these engines, these two litre diesel engines, are quite common for timing chain issues. So here you can see that we've got all of the timing chain information down here so uh, adjusting the the timing it tells you how to do it also what tools you might need to be able to do that job so if we follow that down here we can see that we lock the crankshaft via the flywheel with this tool here and then we position the camshafts and line up these dots here and then there should be a tool for us to place on the top which is here, and then you can see that it is all set correctly, but all of the information is in there for you to follow that procedure and do it correctly. We can actually see here that they've got a whole process for checking the timing chain on those N47 engines, so checking for elongation. I think if you got it down to this far, <laughs> you got all the, the covers off to do this test, you're probably just gonna replace it anyway, but hey, they've got a process for everything. So to wrap that up really, eManual Online seemed to provide a really good service. They did say that not every manufacturer supplies their information like this. It does depend on what information you're looking for. However, get the search in for the vehicle that you want. There's a link for eManual down below in the description and uh, see what they can do for you.